I want to say on behalf of the Azimio coalition, we want to condemn these abductions. It is obvious there is a squad out there that their job is to abduct uh, staff belonging to members of parliament, especially those who voted no, those uh, Gen Zs who organized peaceful demonstrations. And we want to tell them that you will not take us back to the 90s. I can draw experience because I know the 90s. That was the habit that was taken of abducting politicians and activists, moving them from one station to another. This is the year 2024 and we will not accept. And finally, we want to tell them that we have a new constitution, we have a judiciary, and we still have the option of the ICC. Because some of these crimes are crimes against humanity. We will make sure we take every effort to bring those people to book. So I want to, right here to just warn those officers who are moving around abducting our youth. And I want to ask our youth, any person who you know is still missing, kindly report to the nearest police station and make sure you obtain an OB number. We as the Azimio Coalition, we want to assure you, we'll be there to support you to ensure everyone is released. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, we just took the most bold diplomatic step to come to the DCI to find out if we have information on the missing person, persons in this country. And I think we've left with more questions than answers. Because we thought that by coming here we get information on the whereabouts of some of these people who are abducted. Maybe we would be told that they are being held in certain and certain police stations, but that information is not forthcoming. That is not what we got. So we are left with the question, if the DCI does not know where these people are, who knows where these people are? And we, I think it's time our police force now comes up with a central information center where even missing persons can be reported and information is given. So that people don't have to go from one police station to the other looking for a certain person. We can just come to a central, uh, central point and be told where so and so it's being held. That is what we had come to seek in the DCA, but we are not given that information. On the other issue of this uh, uh, rampant killing of our people, we've not come up with concrete information about who are involved in this killing of protesters. The orders to do the Gidurai massacre, we are not told who was so responsible for giving that order, the shoot to kill order. We need to know who, who gave us that order for people to go around shooting other people. Then, the people who, are, who shot these people in, in, in Gedorai, in Rongai, in town, there's no step that has been taken against them. We don't know who are the police officers who are involved in the shooting of these people. And that is why we are here to make sure that these people are also brought to book. Because we, rule, we live in a country that is governed by the rule of law. So we leave you with more questions than answers. And the other issue of uh, jurisdiction, where a person is abducted in Nairobi and found in Kajabe. We have asked that question, but no clear answer has come out. Because it is same now when we are told, if a person is arrested in Nairobi, they may be found in a certain police station, so that Kenyans have that information and people can work on that information without having that, uh, that, that, that issue of criminal withholding of information against the public. So we condemn everything that the government has done in this protest and we also do want to know what steps are going to be taken for justice for the people that have been murdered in this protest and for those people who have lost their lives, for those people who have been injured and for those people who have lost their property, the governments must be held accountable for all the actions that has taken place in this country. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have been clear. Um, beyond those who have been abducted and those who are missing, I wish to call upon the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights and I power to know that the people of Kenya specifically put them in the constitution because the human rights movement conceived of these institutions as being independent and to be on the side of justice. We saw militia being paraded in Eldoret. We have seen the styles of the abduction actually being similar to terrorism. How do you have police officers hooded? We have seen pictures of children with more than 10 bullets. What would a child be able to do in taking over a state house or taking over parliament? We have seen x-rays of a five-year-old with more than five bullets. What is happening with these people? I wish to add, even as MSK is working on these particular cases, we need Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, Chair Odede. We need our power 
to immediately move into the spaces where we've had militias being hired to stop protesters and these families where children have been killed. We need to see them investigating, not for years, but for a few weeks so that they can speak to the people of Kenya and tell the people of Kenya why anybody in their right minds can flash a lot of bullets in a child. I don't know where we are going. So I wish to ask that beyond what we have said today, we need a lot more to be done. Yeah.